again Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know Guys, hope you can see me there. Warm, warm welcome. Uh, where are we today? Uh, we're still in Essex, guys. I found another camp, uh, a seaside camp, as you can see. Uh, just watch the video. Sit down, Scott. Uh, just watch the video, guys. And uh, never heard of this place at all. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know it existed. It might as well be on the moon. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, guys, it's a lovely spot. Absolute brilliant camp as well. So keep watching this video. Hope the wind's all right because it's howling in my face at the moment. I got my remote mic on. Uh, in this video, guys, as I say, we visit this lovely camp, uh, found it on Google Earth as well. I've met some lovely people where I'm parked as well, some lovely uh, camper vanners as well, uh, and some followers as well again, which is lovely, always lovely to meet people. Uh, in this video, guys, in the middle of the night, I get attacked, attacked in the middle of the bloody night. Oops, a daisy, that sounds like a thumbnail. Clickbait to me, Steve. Watch the video, guys, <laughs> you'll see what I mean. Uh, lovely, we have a walk around the town, some lovely beaches, a lovely quayside arbour as well. I know uh, we go and find all the lovely points of interest. So keep watching the vlog guys, here in Essex. We're moving on to Kent on the next vlog. So uh, enjoy this one guys. From lovely Essex, the sun is blazing, the sunsets are wonderful and life is bloody good. It's been boiling, cool down a bit today. Hope you enjoy this one guys. From me and Sky, hey. <laughs> enjoy the video. Well guys, that's it. Uh, we're going to move on from uh, Holland on Sea. What a lovely camp. I'd stay a lot longer. It's a beautiful camp. I love it. Absolutely lovely. So you can get a camp in Clacton. So <laughs> Clacton Council, go and do one. Uh, right, we're going to rock on through uh, Essex now, guys, uh, to the other side, hopefully. Find another camp for tonight in this sky. She's hot. I'm going to try and find a wooded camp with a lake or a river or somewhere where we can cool down a bit more. Good by golly, it's been hot today, but I think this is the last of it today. Anyway, guys, let's get the wagon rolling. On to the next adventure. Thanks for popping in, guys. Again, thanks for all your buy me a coffee, your lovely thanks and treats for me and Sky. All your lovely comments as well, your shares. Keep sharing the channel, keep subscribing, it's all free. Right, guys, we're at a place called Bridling Sea. Bridling. Bridling. Right, right, sir. Don't know if I can believe what I'll say. It. Oh, there's a bit of a fight going on here. Oh, that's cool. Bit of a fight going on. Very busy. Not sure where they'll park somewhere around here, I don't know. Well, oh, this Manning going to see. If that's how you pronounce it. Sounds a cool place. Need to find somewhere to park here. A bit of live music. There's live music down on the quay as well. Need to find a park up. I'll have to leave it to a bit later when all the holiday bobbies are gone. Gonna get some shopping, there's a Tesco just over there. Lovely. Live music! Yeah, you know. Mine out, uh, just been to the uh, grocery shop, got a few uh, supplies, the little bit. Well, it is warm still. And we got free entertainment. Got my window open, free music from the pub. I'll have a shout for Jar in a minute, I think I'm gonna park here tonight, in this square. Uh, restrictions are between nine and six. So uh, you got two hours on here, so that means I can stay here till 11 o'clock in the morning. It'll do me, guys. It'll do me. Live music. Got a boozer over there for one of a quick pint. I've got some Guinness on board. Got some chilling in the fridge. So I may just sit there. Or I may pop down to the arbour a bit later on. It's not my bloody air. I may pop down to the arbour a bit later on, guys, when it quiets down down there. I'm just going to settle there for a minute and have some tweets. That's why it's cool down in the van when it's 35 degrees in your van, guys. One of my best ways. Damp your hair, just wet all your hair all through. Wet your top as well. Just, you know, not soaking wet, just damping everything. One of these USB fans, guys. They're absolutely brilliant. I don't know what the make is. But it's just a conventional USB fan. Three, three speeds on it. And have that blasting at you. Oh, that is pure luxury, guys. Just be damping air and you damping top. That is pure bloody bliss. That'll call you down straight away. Lovely. Bloody good tip. Right, guys, we're still up in the square. It's a uh, bright link sea. Uh, listening to the music over there. It's been lovely the last two hours. 
Uh, I'm just going to have a look down by the quayside, see if we can get in there. So all the day trippers should be gone. So we may have to, may be able to get in by the water side, because that's lovely flowers. We may be able to get in by the water side. If not, I'll come back here. I don't mind camping here at all. It's nice and level. Right, let's get another have a look. You come in. Come on, Sky. Let's go. Yeah, guys, told you, loads of spaces. Maybe it's all later in the night. And then there's plenty of space. Let's try and get one by the water side if we can. Hopefully we can stay out the night. Right guys, here we are at Brightling Sea. Got the sea just out the edge of the It's a beautiful lake in front of me. That's the best of you, isn't it? Got a bench down there as well. See what I mean about going, finding a camp late as you can. All the uh, day trippers have gone and the uh, day RVers. Right, so I'll make sure we can park here tonight. This looks good to me. Another crack in camping Essex. Brightling Sea, never heard of it. Might as well be on the moon. Catch you later, guys. Well, here we are at Brightling Sea, guys. I never heard of the bloody place. As I say, might as well be on the bloody moon. Never heard of it. Uh, it's lovely. The sun's setting over there. There's parking, free parking all the way up this road, guys, for RVs. There's no restrictions, no signs. There are there is parking fields there you have to pay for. But uh, all down this road, all down the front, when you can get in, that is. I mean, it's quiet now because everybody's going home. It's, it's all free parking. What a lovely find again. Google Earth, guys. Zooming in on Google Earth. Brilliant. The front, anyway. The beach. Bit of a shingly beach. The tide's out at the moment, so... It's probably nicer when the tide's in. Got lovely... Uh, Beach huts everywhere, all around the harbour. Right, look at that sunset. We've got some uh, paragliders up there. Uh, motor, I don't know what you call them. What do you call them, guys? Motors with a, uh, <laughs> like kites. <laughs> They're paraglide, they now. Anyway, look at this for a spot, guys. Beautiful. Brightling Sea. Never heard of it. What a camp. What another cracking camp. We'll have a look around the quayside tomorrow. We'll do a video here, guys. Another epic spot further down south, down the Essex coast. Lovely. Having an evening walk around the lake, guys. Christine is just behind those that island there. Look at this lovely lake, right outside the front of Christine. Got all these lovely beach huts all around. That's the main quayside town there, guys, where all the cafes and restaurants are. Uh, lovely like fishing village kind of quayside town, lovely. We'll go and have a look at that. Looks like a church over there on the horizon. Who said it's hard to find camps in this part of the country? Waffle, waffle. <laughs> Cracking, let's go up there, eh? Well, I'm glad I upstick to move from the uh, town, the town square at the top, guys, because this is beautiful. Absolutely lovely camp. There's no reason why I couldn't stay there for a couple of weeks, four months or two, guys. Got all the shops you want, you got your water, everything you need, guys, everything you need, all within walking distance. Bloody perfect. You got the beach, you got the sea, do a bit of sea, go out in a boat, do some sea fishing, sit on the beach, have a go in the boats on the, this lake. I presume there's boats on this lake, guys. Look at that, gorgeous. The sun reflecting in that water. To get a nice sunset here in the picture reflecting in this water tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, guys. I'm gonna have two nights here because it's bloody lovely. Oh, look at the colours there, guys. All these lovely beach huts. They surround this lake, they go all the way outside. Hundreds of them. Loads of them, all lovely colours. So there is an RV site over there, a camper van site. So you can pay if you want to pay for the night, but uh, we're parked on the road for nothing. It's the way country does it, guys. It's the way country does it. There's the yacht club at the back of the lake at Brightling Sea. We like the yacht in here. Lovely all the posh condos, I bet those, those are a few bob, those are, those holiday homes there, beautiful, looking across the bay, so the tide's out at the moment, the boats are coming in, beautiful eye, absolutely beautiful, look at that, 
Wow. Uh, this is the RV site here, guys. It's quite nice, actually. You know, if I did RVs, which I don't. Sites. I don't know caravan sites, guys. Uh, hard gravel, electrical cups. Also, you got Alison and Walsh and everything. Uh, they all look like they're electrical cups. But these guys are probably being charged 35 quid a night, 30 quid a night. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe more. There's quite a few spaces, quite a few for uh, lots of vans, guys. But if you like a nice site, guys, if you like your RV sites, try this one at Brightlingsea. Lovely, right by the lake. That lovely view of an evening. Lovely. So you can see Christine there, just by the side of the uh, telegraph pole, guys. By the side of the lake. And literally, 10 steps away, those guys are paying 35, 40 quid a night. And there's me, zero. <laughs> the way we like it. Bit of information on the lake there, Brightling Sea Town Council. Conservation development. Lovely, all the uh, wildlife that's about here. That's the Keyside Town over there. And that's the RV site there. Lovely. Right. I think I'll get back to Christine in our free spot. Right, in an ideal location as well. Lovely. Uh, the actual camping site there, guys, belongs to uh, Countrywide Park Homes. .co.uk. There we go. Welcome to Brightling Sea Holiday Park, Touring Park, and Luxury Holiday Lodges. That's if you want to come here, guys, and pay for the night. Lovely. Come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, monkey. Yeah, monkey. Good morning. Good morning, guys, from me and lovely sky. And this lovely stop we're at. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, sun's in and out today, but uh, here we go. That's where I'm at, guys. Oh, lovely. Lovely view out all my windows. Uh, cracking park up as well. Lovely and quiet and nice. You can see through there, guys. We've got the lake and the sea just behind there. You're just about to have some breakfast. It's about... Uh, 20 to 7. Hey, Sky. You right? You like canoe camp? I think I'll stay here for a couple of nights, guys. Uh, do a bit of a hunting round. Lovely jabbly. You want some breakfast? Oh, have a yawn. You want some breakfast? Cracking spot, guys. A lovely spot. Look at that. Got all the birds out there as well. Lovely. And kettles on, mother. Kettles on, mother. Oh, what a lovely camp that was last night, guys. So quiet. So this is not a road at all. It's just access to the car park. Uh, this place was heaving yesterday because there was a children's jamboree on. Um, but today it's as quiet as anything. Not a soul about. Just one or two dog walkers. Lovely morning. The gulls are singing. The birds are on the lake. Thousands of birds on the lake. Beautiful. Got my first cup of tea in the morning. This guy wants a breakfast. I had a, I don't know whether it's a, a mozzie or something come in the, because uh, when I was asleep last night, I heard this buzzing in the van, you know, that bloody audible little buzzing you hear when they go past your ear hole. Buggers. So one got in the van last night and had a chew on me while I was asleep. <laughs> so he's uh, had a meal on me. I think I got about uh, five or six bites. Hey ho. Blimey, all those, all those bloody winters in Scotland, I've never been bitten. I come to Essex, I get bitten. I don't know whether it's an Essex girl. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, we'll have a look around today. Have a mooch about, have a discover, see what, what interesting points of interest we can find. Here at this uh, lovely Essex Keyside town. Lovely. Later, guys. Uh, right guys, uh, I think I'm going to treat myself to some breakfast. 
Well, it's a shame the Lido is closed. Uh, it's been scorching the last bloody two weeks and it closes quite early. That's what it's like when there's folk in there, guys. This is what it was like back in the day. It's been there some time. It's been renovated uh, by the local council. There's all the army boys in the Lido. A few more pictures of what it used to be like, guys. Back in the day, it looks like the 60s. It's going back even further. It looks like the 50s. Amazing, eh? Here at Brightling Sea, Lido. It's a shame it's Lido closed. Cafe. On this lovely, in this lovely park. Let's just see over there. Here's the menu for you. Here at the Lido. So, so this is the Lido Cafe at Brightling Sea, guys. Lovely stuff here. I'm going to have some breakfast. A cup of tea. Lovely. It's a shame the Lido. What type? When is the Lido closed? Uh, yes, it's closed. When did it close? It closed at the end of the holidays. Oh right, it's been scorching the last week or so. It's a shame it's not been open. I mean, it's warm today. Looks lovely though, doesn't it? The way they've done it out. Yeah, I bet it gets quite full, doesn't it? It does. It does, yeah. Lovely. Okay, thank you. And we've got some some biscuits for the for sky. Lovely. We've had a couple of those. Some, some free munchies for sky. There she is. Oh, Sky! Oh, what's Daddy got for you? Look, what we got? What we got, Sky? What we got? You want one of these? These are big biscuits. What's that? What's that? Yeah. What do you want to eat or what? Yeah, guys, I've decided to eat in the veranda out the wind. Thank you. Yeah, go on the end there, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Got me a pot of tea. It's £1.60 for a tea. Big pot as well, so you get a couple of teas out there, which is lovely. No doubt you can top it up with water as well, if you ask nicely. Oh, lovely, jubbly. Nice cup of tea. It's probably not Yorkshire, but hey ho. Yeah, there's enough in there for. Uh, Two, three cups of tea. Just the way I like it. Works out about 70p a cup. Lovely. It's nice having it made for you for a change. Hey then, what's this guy? It's not yours. <laughs> oh, that looks lovely, thank you. Thank you. Can I get you any sauces? Uh, brown sauce, if you would. Yeah. That'd be lovely, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Lovely guys. Well presented again. Yeah, she's had a couple yeah, of biscuits. Thank you. Biscuits. Thank you, sugar. Lovely friendly stuff, eh? Here you go, guys. Nice English breakfast. Sausages done well, eggs well. Some bread and butter, a cup of tea. I think it was a uh, seven quid, something like that. In this lovely location look at that you just just want to dive in there don't you i certainly do that looks divine right let's get on with me now nice. breakfast anyway nice piping hot nice runny egg guys crispy bacon nice sausage as well bloody lovely well that was smashing uh none of that left <laughs> that went down a treat absolutely lovely uh, yeah, I highly recommend the uh, Lido Cafe at Brightling Sea. Uh, staff are lovely, price is not too um, expensive as well, nice and cheap. Nice pot of tea, £1.50 I think it was. You get three, four cups out of it. <clears throat> and it's a lovely spot, absolutely lovely. So the staff are very friendly. So uh, 10 out of 10 for these guys, well done. Worth a visit, guys. Lovely places to sit, guys, in the shade of the trees. What's this millennium, a millennium project tree? Just had a word with those guys and they're, they're all volunteer gardeners, keeping the place nice and tidy, all the flowers and nice and fresh, mowing the grass, cutting the trees. Volunteers in that lovely, eh? Village communities. Alright, we're out on the points of the uh, Lido guys. 
This is a sea Lido, the one we're looking at now. Fills up when the tide comes in. And it's left full of water when the tide goes out. Nice safe swimming for the kiddies. Lovely, eh? Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Well guys, Brighton Sea, if my eyes don't deceive me, it's got its own leaning tower of pizza. Is it the landscape or is that tower leaning? It looks like it's leaning to me, or it might be the ground landscape, I don't know. Leaning Tower of Pizza that definitely looks like it's leaning to me. What about you guys? It's called Bateman's Tower and it's used to start all the uh, yacht races for the uh, local yacht club. The Colney Yacht Club here. So they must have regattas here now and again. But uh, that is definitely leaning, isn't it? Is it? Or is it me? I don't know. Perhaps it's just the way it's laid on the uh, ground. Right. Right, I'm looking at it from behind now. That is definitely on the wonk. Don't you agree? That's definitely on the wonk, guys. It's not my eyes. It's not the ground. That is the leaning tower of Brightling Sea. <laughs> right, we're at the edge, edge of the village here. There's another little beach there, guys. There's about three or four beaches in Brightling Sea. And I believe out there, out in the estuary, guys, we're looking towards the uh, Thames estuary to the Father Thames into London, uh, that way, which is where we're heading to next, into Kent. Lovely. What a lovely spot, eh? Grand. Quaint Quayside Harbour at Bridling Sea, and it is nice. It's a lovely place. Lots of uh, eateries and boozers. Oh, that sun is boiling. Got the harbour just up there. A lovely square here, guys. I'm gonna have a mooche. It's gonna have a meander. Lovely roadside cafes and pubs. Quite quiet at the moment. Lovely beer gardens. Oh, fish and chips. Fancy going diving. The little harbour town square here, guys. The harbour master. That's that's a nice building. Is that Tudor? Is it Mock Tudor? Looks like rock. Looks like mock Tudor to me, but uh, still beautiful all the same. Lovely eye. Eh? Nice place to live. Right on the quay front. There's lots of condos and posh houses around here, guys. Beautiful harbour tours. Lunch at the Black Boy. Leads out into the harbour side here. Hard shelter. What's that for? Don't know. Skidoos everywhere, guys. Everybody's enjoying their skidoos. I wouldn't mind having a go on one of those, to be honest. I used to have a guy on them abroad. Nice pieces of kit, some of them are. They go really fast. There's a harbour side front. Lovely jubbly. Which is a pretty place. It's a bit like, it looks a bit like Cornwall. We haven't got the high rising backdrop. Somewhere to eat your lunch, guys. Lovely jubbly. Looks like a very popular yachting harbour. A lot of uh, people playing about with boats. Uh, Siley Melody. Andy, don't know whether you've been here before, mate.
waterfront. All these posh condos, how the other half live, I. All the yachts outside their condos. They've got the waterfront here at Brightling Sea. The key is just out there, guys, the key harbour. Beautiful, hey? Okay? Still, all these condos are very nice, but uh, give me Christine any day. At least I can move. <laughs> Beautiful it is. Lovely. There's a mon monument here to Reg White. 1976 Olympic gold medal. Wow, we've had a few medals here. It's uh, from folks from Brightling Sea, as you can see, guys. Nice little monument, a marble a sail. It's quite nice. Monuments to the yachting champions. Lovely. Not. I'm going to go in the sea, I think, guys. Uh, I don't think I'll go in that lake because it's a bit green to me. So I don't think I'll be jumping in there. But anyway, uh, back from our little uh, walkabout, guys. Uh, got some fresh milk. Lovely jubbly. Uh, what I love about the co-op, guys, I know it's a bit cheeky, but uh, got some fresh milk for the fridge. Uh, I stock up on bags, guys. When I get one bag, I put hundreds inside, look. And that'll keep me going for my rubbish bags and whatever in the van. So as you're buying bags, pay for one, get about 50 for free. Naughty, naughty but nice. Anything to cut down costs. Lovely. Mm -hmm.
Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Look at this, guys. Not a single camper van. Not a single camper van on this road. Bloody bonkers. And it's a lovely camp as well. Lovely free camp. You can pay over there if you win. There's a couple of vans over on the site there. But there's nobody here, guys, on this road. And it's a lovely, peaceful camp. Cars don't even come up in the daytime. Beautiful, but it's a bit cloudy today. A couple of blue clouds up there. Uh, it's not cold at all, but it's just uh, it's been raining all morning. But lovely. So, uh, so I'll do a bit of work today. And um, we'll move on. We'll rock on, eh? Find a new camp, a new adventure. This has been lovely. What a beautiful place this is. Highly recommend this place, guys. Whether you want a wild camp like me, or whether you want to go on the caravan site over there, the RV site. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. All right, let's crack on with the day. Back out. Oh, nice portion of chips. Sitting in the arbor. I just looked up this place, guys. It's on the market, right on the arbor front. Massive building. And uh, it's up for sale for 400,000. Which to me, I think that's a bloody bargain. It's a massive building as well. Right on the harbour front. If I had 400k, I'd be interested in that. These are my shoe guys, homemade shoe and dumplings. Lovely jubbly, one pot wonder. A good Beautiful. morning, another glorious morning here at Brightling Sea. Uh, I've been here, uh, I think this is my fourth night. Uh, settling in, uh, I love it that much. Uh, as I say, I do like the karma of the place. It's got a lovely vibe and a lovely quiet vibe about it. And uh, this is our last day here today. Going to move on towards Kent, hopefully. Uh, this afternoon, be no RVs down here at all. Morning sky. How we doing, baby? Hey, how we doing, my lovely girl? Had a lovely night's sleep again. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> It's a nice looking boat. Wow. <laughs> you build that yourself? No, no. That's hard enough today. Is that Sky? today. A bit cooler as well which is nice. Yeah, nice looking at the boats. I do like the remote boats, it's uh, especially the sailing. Hobbies are good hobbies guys. If they get you outdoors they're good hobbies. Lovely. Right guys, here we go, uh, that's it from Brightling Sea. Uh, I think I've been here four days, I don't know, I ain't got a clue to be honest. Don't know what day of the week it is, what time it is, or nothing. <laughs> that's what it's like in van life guys. Uh, right, lovely Brightling Sea. Right, we're going to move further down the coast, further down, go to the uh, Essex-Kent border. Uh, I may go Malden Way, I'm not quite sure, see if I've got to find a camp. It's about three, uh, about three o'clock now, so... Uh, uh, it's been a bit chillier today as well. It's uh, certainly not been boiling hot, but uh, it's still short weather. But uh, it's starting to feel a chill now, so I think that's the uh, that's our little heat wave over with you now. Hopefully we'll get another one before the end. Fingers crossed, eh? Uh, but uh, we'll crack on, eh, Sky? Lovely camp, eh? Lovely camp that was, wasn't it? Hey, you little monk, oh, no, kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, yes. Right, it's rock and roll. Next camp.
Catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching this one. This one's been a lovely camp. Highly recommend it. Catch you later. Thanks for all the um, buy me a coffees and treats for Sky. Thanks for all your subs, all your views as well, guys. Keep sharing. Keep sharing the videos. Let's get this channel rocking and rolling. Catch you later.